Hey guys, so we are back for the round three. Wait, is this the first game one hand we've been able to keep? No, we had one more. Oh, sweet. So we've kept two total hands in six games. Fantastic. Dude, I really thought we were going to roll over that last opponent. Like, after game one, it just seemed like we could just out-tempo him and out-body him. And I don't know what happened. We kept, like, a bad hand in game two. And then game three, we drew a lot of lengths. And he had a thing that bounced our guy. <laughs> bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Dude, so excited for Modern Masters 2, whenever that happens. Alright, so classic turn one set scorpion. Playing I'm against not that black. how these lands are turning out, though. Uh, whoa! Well, that was, that was not good. It's just getting worse. No, 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 it's make getting it better. Stop. It's getting better. Derek, you know by like yelling, make it stop, that means we're just gonna draw more mountains, right? You're aware of this? Yes. Oh, oh no. no, it worked. It stopped. That was fantastic. Actual best possible card. No, I still think the best possible card would probably have been a forest, but... Maybe? I don't know. I think next turn the best possible card is... Or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter what order we drew them in. As long as we can play Polis Crusher on four and then Nemesis on five or six. Erebos' Emissary. Well, we're going to be able to take care of that puppy. Dude, we can just block that all day. Oh yeah, I was going to say, do we just... Can't, well... Yeah, I'm no, like, wait no. a second. We attack like, and see if he wants to trade. Yeah, either way, we win that trade. Oh, but even, we win it even more now. Yeah. So attack with both. He do, he do what he wants. If he wants to take four, that's also fine. But if he wants to pump it, Immortals Resolve to see if he'll pump it again. To, to see if we can get two cards out so he can keep his Erebus. Wait, how does... No, that wouldn't Oh, work. wait, no, it wouldn't die. Never mind. I keep forgetting that it's... But it's a 3-3. I, I was thinking since a pump two that it was a two two. So he yeah, can't win it. basically is what just happened. That guy is so good. I don't understand how that thing was ninth or eighth or whatever. I understand you're not in the color combination, but anyone in green wants it. I just hate it. I don't uh that card is so good. I don't get why I didn't see standard play. Uh, because I'm not better than Pelucranus. It's also not I, better I, than Xenagas. I'm like, it gets rid of Detention Sphere. That's true. And it's on Detention Sphere. -able. That is okay. true. Okay, you can draw all the cards in the world. What is, what is this? You're just going to keep bestowing one creature that can do damage. What is that? Ordeal of Erebos. Okay, so... This is going to be funny. I wonder if he realizes this. Well, I mean, he's not going to get blown out, but we're just going to block and take nothing. Now, you top deck the island, and grip tide blow out. That would be nice. Or we top deck any land, and then play oh, next yeah, corn wolf true. and put him to one. Oh, was, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, we cast it on this Agent of Horizons and then put him to one. That definitely works. He can draw as many cards as he wants from that point on. Dude, do your worst. What do you have, Triton Tactics? Hashtag don't care. I think we may actually care slightly about that. Oh yeah, that's true. That would have actually blown us out, but he didn't have it. No, it would have ki uh, killed the Agent of Fates, but we still would have had three creatures. Yeah, I guess. But he would be a nine. With a Pollock Crusher still coming through. 
Yeah. And you grip tight in hand. Do you GP Philadelphia this weekend, and it's the weekend I'm traveling home, and I can't go to Philly, and I'm so upset. Because, like, this PTQ season is the season that I'm going to be, like, on my internship, and, uh... Hmm. What do we keep? Grip I'm thinking yeah. the resolve at this point is what we keep. Not Nemesis? You're probably right. I know you're, you're, you're right. We just need the creature that he tries to kill with something or another to stay alive. I trust you. Um, yeah, but, like, so I won't even be around for the PTQ season, which is, like, the best, because I love Sealed. He just wanted to see more of your deck. That's fine. Which is better to not show him the Kirk, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we showed him that we had blue. I guess he already knew that from Agent, but I guess he could just be playing a 3-2. Uh, yeah, that's true, too, so. But if he wants to, like, play all this blue stuff around that one card, that's okay. So we bring in Cetus and Starbreaker? Um, yeah. And you take out... Uh... Seder Rambler? Seems like the right play. Fine with that. Alright, let's get this win and not completely waste this draft. I would love to keep this hand, actually. This is a spicy one. I have not actually looked at it yet. Well, well okay, yep, that's perfectly fine. It's spicy. Although we did, we obviously drew a land. Because that's just a thing that happens. But that's fine, it's a second red. It is not fine, Derek. Just means one more chance to search Derek. for it. Derek. Okay, now it's not fine. Derek, I don't understand what you're doing. Why are you, why are you screwing us up here? Just have to press F6, that's all you have to do. I know. You were just having difficulties finding that, it seemed. Apparently he was. Alright, we're good now? What are you doing? Asphodel, okay. wonder. I thought that said Asphodel. Uh, Island? Sure. I really hope that's all he plays this turn. Yeah, why did he do it in response to that? I don't know, why did we draw another land? Because we're awesome like that. I guess at some point, can we draw gas, please? When we have a Thomper, they don't think we need any gas. Well, first of all, why do you think it's called a Thomper? It's clearly Tromper. a Tromper. Because I was clearly thinking that was an H. But you've thought that for like three months now. Yes, because I like thomping. Tromping is not quite as cool to say, okay? Also, I don't understand why you didn't attack with Asphodel Wanderer. Haste? Well, no. Why? <laughs> I can't even regenerate, so... Also, like, I was watching the GP coverage this past week, and, like, Huey... Huey Jensen called it Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and I laughed. I lolled. I now he wants to lot. dump his entire hand into the Erebus, right? I hope so. We just gonna get him with Griptide at some point? Probably. I think that maybe next turn. Eight Unraveler. Ooh, scary. Is that the draw card? Yeah. Um, that's actually dangerous. And that's really annoying. I don't understand why that's annoying. It's not an activated ability. Oh, yeah, it is activated ability. Okay. What? That is activated ability. No, it's a triggered ability. No, I meant um, that, um, whatchamacallit, Viper's Kiss is only activated abilities. Uh, What's yeah. annoying is that it doesn't say non-mana abilities. That's what it was. I got blown out by that by someone using it on a Voyage and Seder before. Stowed. Attack? Yeah, I don't see why not. What is he? He's a 5-3. I probably would have done the Leaf Crown Dried for the 4-4, four, four, but... Oh, yeah, maybe. He's not going to care either way, so... I guess he, did, he 
thinks that it's going to prevent the thing from getting bigger. Yeah. If he doesn't block it end of turn, time to feed the Fate Unraveler. Um. Okay, I mean, we can also upkeep Griptide the Fate Unraveler. That's true. But that Griptide's looking a little better on the Erebus. I would wholeheartedly agree. So let the Raveler take its whole one two point one damage. Uh oh. Okay. Motor does not attack. Um not attacking can't be right. Because he's just going to regenerate. Oh, yeah. That's true. So, yeah, declare attacks. You... Don't attack. Um, block the Fate Unraveler and bounce the Erebus. Mm-hmm. This would be so much better if it was a 7-5 right now. So, Griptide, Erebus. And then next turn we can... Time to feed the feet. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be so good against the Erebus in a second. can't attack, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that's true. Especially because then we open up to some weird line where he, like, bestows the Erebos' emissary and then, like, dumps creatures onto the table and we lose. Bestowing that was the best bet right now. Just because regenerate's an issue. <laughs> That's true. But that Thomper, as soon as we can find a way to get a, tra a trample, we're good. Yeah, we can actually attack here. Because he only has one card in hand, which we know is the Airbus Emissary. So if he draws no, a creature. Oh, it's on top. So if that, so he draws it, plays it, right? Yes. So we're just basically putting a one on counter, and then if he attacks with his Asphodel Wanderer, we can get in for nine or whatever, put him to six. So we actually want to entice the attack here. I don't think there's any way we can die out of absolute nowhere. So. And if he has any way of, like, killing it, like, Necrobite, then we're still good, because then we get two creatures. Yeah. And we get the trick out of his hand. I was hoping he'd, like, bestow there. Uh, this commune could be good. Yeah. Uh, Minotaur? Might as well. Yeah, we can put all the lands in the graveyard, that's fine. Uh, we're not afraid of the Emissary, so we can just slam the Minotaur. And then, yep, I know what I did. And then pass the turn. You? Um, I paid an extra mana by accident, but it didn't matter. Oh. Yeah. 
not a big deal. Scourge, Scourge mark. mark. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Draws a card. He does do that. Alright, so let's destroy this. I would wait until his next turn. Uh, I want to do it now because I want to get in. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And if he has Dissolve, he shows us Dissolve. Uh, don't want Flame Speaker as Adept. Do want Nesting Asp. Yeah, the Adept would have been better to have before you did that. <laughs> and then attack with everything? Yeah. There's no need to... Again, I don't think there's a way we die out of nowhere. That's 10 points of damage he has to do with 3 cards. Yep. I mean, could be 2 lightning Without strikes three. and a bonus charm. Or red, for that matter. Alright, so we seem to be in control of this game. Although it'd be better if we could somehow give our thomper, as they say, trample. Ooh, that card's actually Remember good in this situation. Took that? that card's actually good in this situation. It's only gonna buy him a turn. Because he's gonna have to block the Asp next turn with it. Because that Asp will be in 8, 9. We attack with Tromper actually just to get it the counter. Yeah. Just so that it can kill on its own. Because, like, he's at 11, so having that extra point, like, is really important. And there's still the hope that maybe he'll kill it, and at that point, I think you have lethal on the board. Or close to it. Uh, yes. I would have lethal at that point. So, does he have the heroic trigger? Is that the one that, per or that taps prevents untapping? Yeah. Good game. Wait, what do I find? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, you would hammer the... You'd... Wait, no, yeah. You'd hammer before blocks. And you would hammer the... He's gonna block there and there, so... I hammered the... No, I think what I do... Is wait I, until he blocks, and then you hammer the regenerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I let him block and regenerate, actually, because I want him to use his mana. That's what I'm saying. You hammer the regenerator after he regenerates. Is he letting this... Oh, like, there's no way he's letting the snake through. Oh, wait. He is letting the snake through. Pump the snake. No, I'd rather, I'd rather kill this guy. No, you can do both. No, I can not Oh, no, it's seven mana. Missing your land drop you. To fake the card. Yep. Because that's what I was trying to see. If there's any way to kill everything and still do lethal. There was not. I think we're in control now. I'm still waiting for the Sea God's Revenge. Speaking of which... Don't care. Also, okay. don't, also don't care that. <laughs> this Tromper is enormous. It's not the size that matters. <laughs> and the Tromper is definitely proving that right now. That Asp is going to grow. That's true. Don't untap all your red. There you go. Hey. Hey, I did it right. 
I don't know, you paid one more and you missed pumping it last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to know if he can ever actually win from this. See God's revenge. That doesn't do it. Haha. Uh -huh. I should wait. In response to him conceding, I should have cast Magma Jet. Do you think that works? What do the crosses out mean? They can't get into prize. No, that means they've dropped from the tournament. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, that was fun. 2-1 with a pretty bad deck, but 2-1's 2-1, so I'll take it. Alright, Derek. I think it is time to sign off. Do you have any wise words of wisdom? Don't draft three colors. Or four colors. Or five colors, for that matter. So, next time with Derek, drafting five color good stuff. Alright, see you guys next time.